Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at a new TTS model. Ha 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 ha! Hello, what you still have to ha ha ha! Oh, 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 there is a new open source text to speech model that is supposedly based on what I'm reading here quite good and I am very excited to test this. So this is called Chatterbox and if you watch my channel one thank you and two you know that I do tend to have a lot of fun in testing some of these text to speech models so I am hoping that that is kind of the direction of today's video as well. First and foremost we can see a little bit about this model right here. It is called Chatterbox Resemble AI's first production grade open source text-to-speech model. It is licensed under MIT and they do list here that it has been benchmarked and is preferable in side-by-side -side evals compared to 11 laps. Now I personally don't put too much I suppose weight into those kind of benchmarks. I just like playing with the models and seeing how I like them and how they feel to me. But beyond that, they have some key details right here where it is dubbed to have state-of-the-art zero-shot TTS capabilities, a 0.5 billion parameter llama backbone. Now this right here is something that <laughs> makes me a little interested in how entertaining this model may be where it has a unique exaggeration slash intensity control obviously in generating human-like text or sound snippets this could be very funny potentially so uh, I am looking forward to that trained on 500 million hours of clean data and it has watermarked outputs now this is actually explained a little more down here where essentially every audio file generated by this includes imperceptible neural watermarks that survive basically anything that would try to remove those being that this is open source and MIT that is probably something modifiable as well but for my purpose of testing that does not bother me and I figure I'd just throw it out there because it's pertinent. Now, fortunately, the installation steps look perhaps one of the simplest that I've ever come across, at least in some of these TTS models. But I do quickly want to mention here, if I go into the issues tab, someone had asked about the local VRAM requirements and a organization member for the organization that created this model mentions that they're seeing reports of around six to seven locally gigs of video RAM from the community. I am running this on a 4060 mobile, which has eight gigs of VRAM, and the OBS screen recording I'm using is using up about 1.7 total, so it might be kind of close, and if I do out of memory, I will swap over to a different machine to do the testing. I don't see any mentions here of this working on Mac or Linux. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but being that the, I'm on Linux, we're just gonna kind of go through and test it this way. So first and foremost, I am just going to go ahead and clone this GitHub repository onto my local machine. And the next thing I am going to do is just change into the repository folder as some of the scripts we'll want to run are contained in them. Now from in here, and I am in a Conda environment as I want to just keep everything isolated just for dependency, cleanliness, cleanliness is what I meant to say. <laughs> we are going to just run pip install chatterbox dash tts. And when we do that, it will go ahead and just install this. Now, once everything has been installed, you can see there is a very simple script here for usage, but they do mention see example tts.py for more examples. And essentially, if you go up here into the hugging, uh, excuse me, the GitHub repository, and you actually click on that, you will see in the side pane here, they do have a Gradio text-to-speech example app. And that is likely what I will go ahead and run this with, as having the Gradio web interface is very helpful, especially for actually doing like video testing and things like that, because it gives us something pretty to look at. So all I'm going to do right here is just type Python, if I can spell that correctly, and then the name of that Gradio web script, and we can see that Gradio is not found, so I will just go ahead and install Gradio too. It is possible that that was just not included with some of the requirements that were installed with this. And with Gradio installed, hopefully when we run this, we do get a successful result where we get a URL we can click on. All right, good. And I would imagine that as soon as I click on this, it will go ahead and then start to automatically begin downloading the model weights and files from Hugging Face, which it is doing right here. As we saw earlier, um, not really a extremely large download size. So I'll allow these to finish. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, I have enough overhead left here on this 8GB VRAM GPU to actually run this.
with the models downloaded and at least the web UI open, I am currently using around 5.7 gigs of video RAM. Keep in mind there was around 1.7 of overhead just running OBS and the desktop environment, so not so bad right now. Obviously when we actually begin generating and doing things like that, that may change. Now the default text to synthesize here is just what does the fox say, which quite frankly I have no interest in hearing an AI speak. Um, with that we'll just kind of do something simple at least. I don't know why I wrote that, maybe it's just so like it feels the computer is speaking to me, but I am now currently not going to touch any of these. They do actually mention the specified values for such a thing in here in the tip section. So general use is what we're doing right here. Exaggeration set to 0.5 and a CFG of 0.5, okay? That is as is there. So I'll just go ahead and click generate, keeping a very close eye on the video RAM, of course. Now, this is not necessarily a very fast card, so keep that in mind in terms of the speed. And let's just go ahead and hear. Hey, it's me, your friendly gaming LAP top. <laughs> gaming LAP top. Hey, it's me, your friendly gaming LAP top. All right, I mean, so real quick, I just want to turn that down because it's probably way louder on the mic. I mean, all right, that's not bad. Again, it's probably best if we do something like a paragraph. So I will just kind of enlist ChatGPT to write something up. <laughs> I've had ChatGPT just generate like a generic funny story that happened in an office break room. Uh, I don't know. But I do have <laughs> more interest in seeing VRAM utilization while it synthesizes a much longer snippet of text. Fortunately, we're I'm seeing six gigs max. So, okay, that just jumped up to six and a half. But still well under my limit here, even with the additional overhead I have. So let's just go ahead and listen. At the office water cooler, Greg tried to impress his coworkers by loudly claiming he could chug a gallon of water in under a minute, only to immediately spill half of it down his shirt and cause Brenda from HR to slip in the puddle. As she lay on the floor, holding her knee, Greg yelled, it's not a workplace injury if it's hydration related. The next day, a no chugging zone sign mysteriously appeared above the cooler with Brenda's crutches leaning nearby. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so... <laughs> So obviously it was like a stupid little story, but really that was quite decent. I actually heard it take breaths while it was uh, speaking said speech and things like that. And that was really a decent result in a relatively timely manner as well on an 8 gig mobile 4060 GPU. Now, this is perhaps where we have a little bit more fun here. So neutral is 0 0.5. Extreme values can be unstable. I like that. All right, so let's just put it to 1.55 and <laughs> see what happens. We'll use the same prompt here since we have a reference for how it would sound with perhaps stable elements and things of sort. All right. At the office water cooler, Greg tried to impress his coworkers by loudly claiming he could chug a gallon of water in under a minute, only to immediately spill half of it down his shirt and cause Brenda from HR to slip in the puddle. As she lay on the floor holding her knee, Greg yelled, it's not a workplace injury if it's hydration related. The next day, a no chugging zone sign mysteriously appeared above the cooler with Brenda's crutches leaning nearby. All right, well, that was definitely more exaggerated, but it wasn't really too crazy. I just want to try a simple one here with just random like ha 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 placed into the sentence just to see. Okay, so it just <laughs> I just become extremely lightheaded. I think I need some water, but that was um so. <laughs> put the pace back down to a default value there i think i will just turn these speakers <laughs> we'll just we'll just listen to this once more hey okay so it is definitely capable of exhibiting um entertaining speech if you will <laughs> Let me, let me just put this back down to default. Okay, so these are both set to default now as I'm interested in seeing how it would in a, in a normal setting scenario actually go about handling such speech. Hey, ha 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 ha. I was wondering if you still had the ha 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 490 for sale. Okay, so that was totally reasonable. Now I wonder, I just... <laughs> okay, we put the pace down all the way to the lowest and then the exaggeration all the way to the highest. Hey, ha, 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 hey, I was wondering if you still had the ha, 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 ha
Okay, so, so that also produced a relatively entertaining output. Um, all right, I'm now going to try a reference audio file here. Hello, for today's video, we're just going to be doing a simple test of how this sounds with a reference audio file. Hopefully it doesn't make me sound too ridiculous, but I suppose we will see. We have a nice little reference audio file of myself. I will set these back to normal just because we want to first and foremost check to see how well it does with this and then... Uh, this is where VRAM may be... Okay, cool. Hey, ha ha. I was wondering if you still had the ha 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 4090 for sale. That's not bad. And again, off that tiny little reference speech file, audio file right here. So now I'm trying with the reference audio file of my own voice here with the weird, stupid ChatGPT generated office water cooler story. And we'll kind of see how this goes about doing this. At the office water cooler, Greg tried to impress his co-workers by loudly claiming he could chug a gallon of water in under a minute, only to immediately spill half of it down his shirt and cause Brenda from HR to slip in the puddle. As she lay on the floor well, holding this... her knee, Greg yelled, It's not a workplace injury if it's hydration related. The, the next day, day a, a no chugging, chugging zone sign mysteriously appeared above the cooler, with Brenda's crutches leaning nearby. Alright, so that is <laughs> that is extremely good. That really is Let's try to do the intro foolery, as I like to sometimes do when these are... All right. Hello, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at a new TTS model. That's really quite good. Now, let's have some fun with it. Okay, we'll put that all the way up. And then maybe I'll put this one in the intro instead. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to be looking at a new TTS model. <laughs> made me... <laughs> Never mind, but T test Get that a new T test <laughs> Not even like new T test <laughs> Like that sound it made right there, the weird facial thing I just did is my assessment of like what would produce such said sound. <laughs> Alright. Um Alright, so I'm trying this normally first where chat gpt makes an office water cooler chat scene but each person moans either before after or during their specific line here um there is no reference audio file for this so we'll just see jill mm, can you oh. believe the printer jammed again oh, damn it it used my voice uh, yeah third time <laughs> lena and nah i swear waits for deadlines to act up gary mm, i miss the old one noisy but loyal Jill, ah, at least this water cooler is still working. Hey, I don't want to hear myself moaning. <laughs> I just rage quit the Gradio app. We'll try this again without a sample <laughs> reference audio file. I will say, though, the, the cloning feature here is really quite good. It's one of the first times I have noticed where, you know how sometimes if you hear yourself on video, it sounds odd to you? I'm experiencing that with this from the generations it produces with the cloned voice of myself which is kind of concerning i don't like it <laughs> all right so let's try this again without the reference audio file so i don't have to listen to that and we'll go ahead and see now again our vram usage dropped down once we close that and reopened it and then as we kind of play with this it will spike back up. jill mm, can you believe the printer jammed again tom uh, uh, yeah third time this week lena no no i swear waits for deadlines to act up gary mm, i miss the old one noisy but loyal jill uh at least this water cooler is still working uh at least this jill uh 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 jill uh <laughs> all right let's just yeah i'm gonna max it out because you know why not <laughs> I will say I'm quite impressed with this. I really, like, it's running in 8 gigs. It's not using a lot of, okay, I should say, it's not using a lot of VRAM. It's very quick to produce the actual generations. You can see that right there. Produce 16 seconds of audio and 13 seconds there. And this isn't really like a top-tier video card by any measure. And it's <laughs> very good at cloning, so... Jill, 
I really, I cannot say what I want to say, so we're just gonna play this one once more. Chill, him, hang, and you'll believe the freak again. the game. Oh, oh, yeah, third time this week. Lena, Nyan, and Nair. I swear it waits for ten lives to act up. Gary, ooh, I missed the old one. Noisy, but loyal. Chill, ha, 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 ha. At least it's all the still working. Oh my goodness. You know, I... <laughs> So one test I want to do is going to bjambolan.com where I could book a consultation to implement AI into my business, but I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste the actual speech snippet right there or text snippet, and then we'll go ahead and just run it through here and we'll kind of, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I like to smoothly self-promote when I can, um, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> so, all right, <laughs> I don't even know, I, <laughs> we'll just let it ride. So I've, I've kind of slowed that to accommodate for what they say about how the speech can sometimes speed up with the exaggeration value set too high, so. I am an AI consultant in the Boston NMA area. I have helped many small businesses integrate AI into their workflows in order to increase efficiency and customer <laughs> satisfaction. I also run the Beast on Bowen YouTube channel. Good where job. I post educational videos on different AI solutions and their different use cases. If you are interested in speaking more on how business can benefit from from AI. Don't run it. Don't what? I am just going to try one more reference audio file here because I do find it very interesting and I want to just go ahead and see if it will make me narrate part of a book or some form of conversation. With that, I can stop this now because it is weird. I'll just make sure that worked. I am just going to try one more reference audio file here because I... Okay, cool. And we'll basically just... Uh, how about I read the intro of Great Gatsby? Or at least like the first... Two sentences at least will do that. <laughs> All right. And I will leave these normal um, for now. <laughs> in my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been wow. turning over in my mind ever since. That's really Whenever good. you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. That's like... In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice. That's like... In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice. That, I will say, it holds up right here. Absolutely. That is incredibly good. Okay, now we'll just... We'll just kind of mess with these, and then, and then we'll probably be done there. I'll try one more thing, but then we'll conclude. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. It sounds like Grandpa Simpson. Criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. All right, so I tried cloning my voice, but with an accent. Hello. This is my attempt at doing some form of accent. Okay, so that was the reference audio file where I tried an accent, so we'll try it again with the, <laughs> the Gatsby file. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning <laughs> over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember <laughs> that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. <laughs> so that's going to wrap this video up. This is extremely impressive. As you can see, my mouse just landed right here. There is some more things you can try with this, but for the purpose of my testing in my video, I just wanted to play with it in a simple web UI and try some voice cloning on my own voice. I will say this was extremely, extremely impressive, and the claim here that it holds up as state-of-the-art zero-shot TTS, I would definitely say so. The voice cloning here, I think, is perhaps the best that I've seen in everything that I've tested. It is fast, and I was able to run it with reasonable amounts of text inputted into it on an 8GB video card with the overhead of the system running OBS and things like that. Installation was very simple, and the usage was also equally quite simple. So with that, that is going to wrap this up. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and thanks for watching.